a day. CBS Sports brings you a football game. On a Thursday afternoon in November. Sweetheart. Like it has for 60 years. said you don't know what you have until it's gone these days we all feel that and while this year hasn't been easy for any of us today gives us a chance to give thanks and a reason to cherish those things that we haven't lost like tradition and this holiday this is thanksgiving day it is for you and it is for me it's for everyone we love Everything about Thanksgiving doesn't quite look or sound the same. But this American tradition remains, and we'll continue to do our part. Okay, people, if I've asked you once, I've asked you 500 times. Are you ready for some football? Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I've got another computer football game for you, Computer Stratomatic. And today I got an interesting matchup. We're going to do the 1977 Tampa Bay Buccaneers visiting the 1977 Philadelphia Eagles. In 1977, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a relatively new team on the scene, were 2 and 12. And the Philadelphia Eagles were not much better, they were 5 and 9. So I will light this game off shortly. I will be uh, running the Philadelphia Eagles against the computer manager who will be running the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it should be an interesting, to say the least, game. We will launch the game, and there's the coin flip, and Tampa Bay will be kicking off. And we're ready to proceed. They kick off to us. And that's going to be a nice return by us. That's going to be sweet. I mean, you know, Tampa Bay was not good. So and we, there we go, Jaws at quarterback. So we've got... Um, Let's see, let's go through this. We have Mike Hogan at fullback. We've got Tom Sullivan at halfback. Jaws, Ron Jaworski at quarterback. Passes attempted 346. Completion percentage of only 48%. And an interception percentage, which is pretty high, especially by today's standards, of 6.1. We got Harold Carmichael out on the end. Tight end is Keith Krepfle, or Krepfel, I don't know how you pronounce that. And Charlie Smith is out at the flanker. So we're going to go pro set to start, and we're going to go, you know, we really have to go off tackle with Sullivan. I mean, with how bad Jaws was, I can't see him getting uh, very many completed passes. We'll put the tight end in. We'll go flat to the second tight end. No, we'll go to the main tight end, Krepfle. Krepfle. Get a lot of time. And he completes the pass for a first down. Nice. All right, so we got a first down. Let's keep, keep it moving. Keep the chains moving. We're going to go line buck with Hogan. Oh, fumble by Jaworski. My God, and Hogan had to make the tackle. All right, so we are going to, let's see. We'll look at our, uh, our Philadelphia defense. Left end, we got Manny Sistrunk. At uh, nose tackle, we've got Charlie Johnson. Right end, we got Carl Hairston. Linebackers, we've got John Bunting. Bill Berge. Remember Bill Berge? That dude was awesome. We got Frank Lamaster and rounding out the linebackers, Drew Michalik or Malik. 
Uh, cornerback, we got John Outlaw. Strong safety, Randy Logan. Uh, free safety, Deke Sanders. And at right cornerback, we have Herman Edwards. And, of course, you remember Herman Edwards. I'm not an Eagles fan, but I remember Herman Edwards. Offensively, the main offensive players for Tampa Bay are uh, Morris Owens, Dana Navzinger, Randy Hedberg will be the quarterback, J.K. McKay, which I think was John McKay's, John McKay was the head coach of the Buccaneers, and I think J.K. McKay was his son. Um, Anthony A. Davis at halfback and Ricky Bell at fullback. All right, I am going to go with the 3-4. We're going to look for the run, and I'm probably going to key on, I'm going to key on Bell. And he does run. He runs with Davis, but we still stuffed him. So he's got a second and nine at the Philadelphia 41. I'm I'm still going to look run, but I'm going to look general run. I'm not going to key on anybody. And he does run, and we don't get him. Ricky Bell. Whoa. Can I? Am I going to recover that? I am just going to fall on the ball. And we do. So now they have a turnover, a key turnover. And out we come. And I am going to go line buck with the fullback, the same play that I fumbled on in our first uh, drive that ended abruptly. But, oh, and it happens again. I'm going to fall on the ball. All right. All right. Maybe we, maybe we stop running that play. Do you think? Maybe. All right. So we got a second and two. I am going to go line buck with Sullivan this time. Maybe Sullivan can get a yard or two and not fumble the ball, and he can. Now we're going to go flat pass to Krepful. And that is a completed pass for a first down by Jaws. Jaws is two for two today, passing. Love it. Uh, we're going to go off tackle with Sullivan, who is not good by any means. But we are going against the Tampa Bay defense, you have to remember, that probably is, is really dreadful. So we have a second and four. We're going to go line buck with Hogan and hope he doesn't fumble this time. I mean, he gets the first down. He, the dude gets a lot of yards. He just, you know can't hold on to the ball. All right, let's try a short pass. I want to try a short pass to Harold Carmichael. They might be geared up for the, the run. And it is a completed pass. Jaws. That, that you know what? That 48 completion percentage is really going up here. I'm going to go flat to Smith. Oh, that's incomplete. I think that's his first incompletion. So we got a second and 10 at the Tampa Bay 29. Um, hmm. Really? Dang, we got a lot of yards. I'm going to try, I'm going to try a long pass. I mean, this is the Tampa Bay defense, so why not? Let's go to Carmichael too, while we're at it. And it's incomplete. My God, he missed that. All right, so we've got a third and 10. Third and 10, you know what? I'm going to go. No, we're not going to make a field goal from there. I don't know who. The... It was probably Tony Franklin, maybe Tony Franklin, but I'm just going to say he's not going to make it. Um, let's go short to the halfback, short pass to the halfback. And that is a completed pass for a first down and a little more. Nice. Nice call. All right. So we got a first and 10 at the Tampa Bay 16. Let's go look in to Sullivan. 
And was that completed? No, it's incomplete. All right, so we got a second and 10. I'm going to go end run with Sullivan. And he didn't, you know, it's not like he averaged a lot of yards. But, again, this is the Tampa Bay defense, and he gets a first down and more out of it. We got a first and goal at the four. I'm going to go line buck with Hogan. The guy can get yards. It's just he has to hold on to the ball, and that's going to be he doesn't. What is this guy got to fumble on everything? I'm going to fumble. I'm going to fall on the ball. I mean, like, is every reading on his card a fumble? Uh, all right. Let's go short pass to the second tight end, Osborne. And that is a touchdown pass by Jaws. Love it. We'll kick the extra point. And it's, oh, it's Nick Mickemeyer is our kicker. That's even worse. All right, so the Eagles go out in front 7 nothing, And we're going to kick off to that. Now, I expect the Tampa Bay offense to be equally as bad as their defense. Because, I mean, make no mistake, the reason we were able to go through them like melted butter is because they're a terrible defense. Not because we have some really great guys that had really good seasons, because we that was not the case. All right, I'm going to look for the, uh, you know what? I'm going to go balanced. Let's go balanced for first down. Ew, we got him in the backfield. Nice. Tracked him down. Second and 12. I'm, you know, I'm going to go run. I'm going to look run. And we did. We got it. We got Ricky Bell. So now he's the third and 12. He's got to go pass. And I'm going to double team Owens. And that's incomplete. So he's fourth and 12. He's kinking. I'm doing the punt return. Put out the punt return. We got 4.35 left in the first quarter. I'm going to try to catch the ball and run with it. Again, Tampa Bay. So we got good field position, first and 10 at our own 39. I'm going to go, yeah, you know, oh, okay, line buck this time with Betterson. Oh, he got, he got smoked in the backfield, though. All right, so we got a second and 11. Now we're going to do a flat pass to Lusk. That's incomplete. All right, now we're just going to go short pass Carmichael. There is a penalty, and it's probably on us. We got a third and 16 at our 33. Short pass to Carmichael. Oh, it's intercepted. The Tampa Bay defense intercepted us. Oh my God. Jaws. That's not something to write home about. All right. Um, I'm gonna put in the run, just the general run. And we get him in the backfield, DuBose. Second and 11. I'm going to put in the run again. And we should have gotten him. Well, we, we did get him. I mean, you know, he's got a third and six now at the 16. I'm going to put in the pass. Looking for the pass. And it's intercepted. I'm going to try to get some yards. And we don't. But at least we stopped him. So, Jaws, we're going to go line buck with Hogan. Let's hope he doesn't. <laughs> I keep saying, let's hope he doesn't fumble the ball, but he always does. All right, we got a second and 11 because that didn't work real well. We're going to go flat to Crepley. That looks like it's complete, and it is. So, we he got seven, yeah, or. Uh, what, six yards or seven yards on that? Maybe. No, eight, because we had lost a yard before. 
All right, so we got a third and three. Uh, third and three, I'm going to go draw a play with Montgomery. Ooh, he didn't pick it up. Fourth and two, really. Should I go for it here? I mean, this is a very bad Tampa Bay defense, but I'm going to punt. We've got a 7 nothing lead until they prove that they can go any kind of distance on the field without making some kind of horrible mistake. I am going to punt to them. So they even lost yards on the punt return. So now we are in the second quarter, 1440 left. Tampa Bay has it first and 10 at uh, their own 48 yard line. And I am gonna look for the run. And now Hedberg is back to pass. Hedberg is getting, uh, ooh, and he picked up eight there. I'm still going to do the run. Because, nice! Can I pick it up? Yes! I'm going to fall on the ball. Unbelievable. This is this is a crazy good guy. I love this game. Seven nothing. It's seven nothing between... Two hapless opponents. Uh, let's go flat pass to Carmichael. And that's going to be, yeah, he got him for eight. Picked up eight yards on that. We have a second and two. Let's go line buck with Hogan. And he gets the first down and didn't fumble the ball, so that's a plus. We're going... Um, first and it's first and 10. I'm going to go long. Let's air this thing out to Carmichael and see if we can do something. I mean, why not? Ooh, he was, ah, knocked it down. Second and 10. Let's go short to Krepful. That's going to be incomplete. All right, so we are in a third and 10. I'm going to go end run. They're not going to expect this end run with Sullivan. But it doesn't work. So we are going to punt. I really should just put ourselves in a position where we just punt to them and then wait for their mistake on offense because they're going to make a heinous mistake. So they got a pretty good return there. It's first and 10 for Tampa Bay at their 26. I'm going to look for the run. I mean, when your quarterback is Hedberg, and I haven't even heard of Hedberg, I'm going to look for the run again. Now he's going to pass. It's incomplete. And now we are definitely looking pass, and we're going to double team. Um, I'm going to double team Hagen's. Don't know any of these guys from Adam. And that is incomplete. And he'll punt to me fourth and eight. And I'm going to try to catch the ball and run with it. All right, so we have a first and 10 at our own 36. Jaws in charge. Let's go end run with Sullivan. And that was a nice pickup. Six yards there. We got a second and four at the Philadelphia 42. Let's go off tackle with Hogan. Uh, that's not going to be good. Got trapped in the backfield for minus one yard. Got a third and five. We're going to go flat to Krepful. Oh, he fumbled. Did I recover? Yeah, I'm going to fall on the ball. All right. Uh, we got a uh, fourth and nine. We're going to punt. Yeah. 
Eight seventeen left in the half. We have a seven nothing lead. I'm surprised. You know, now I'm at the point where even I'm I'm surprised we were even able to get a touchdown. But seven nothing. You know, hmm. I'm gonna run and key on Bell. And they do it with Davis, and they did get some yards, maybe because I was keying on the wrong guy. So it's third and five. I'm just going to put in a general run. I mean, he really should not be passing because Hedberg, even when I'm not looking for it, is incomplete. We're going to look for the pass. I'm just going to put in the general pass. I'm not even going to double team anybody in particular, and we're going to sack Hedberg. All right, let's put in the punt return. This I have, you know, I've got to say this is the most fun game that I've ever played with Stratomatic Quarterback on the computer. I am going to try to catch the ball and run with it. Probably shouldn't have, but we're going to have a first and ten at our own forty. Um, let's go off tackle with Montgomery, and he gets trapped in the backfield. Uh, let's go line buck with Montgomery. And he doesn't pick up many yards there. He gets two. So we got a third and nine. I am going to go short to the flanker Smith. And he's going to get sacked. They're going to sack Jaws. Are you kidding me? All right. We're going to punt. 4.58 left in the half. Let's, oh, man, he lost some yards, too. So he's got a first and 10 now after a bad return at his own 11. I'm going to look for the run. He does try to pass, and it's in, incomplete. Um, yeah, we're going to look for the run again. And we get Bell in the backfield for a loss of two yards. And now we're going to look for the pass. I can't wait to see what kind of, like, yards this team has for um, off total, um, total offensive yards. Let's put in a punt block. Let's just do that and see if we can do it. I don't think we can. And we can't. I'm going to catch the ball and try to run with it. Doesn't work again. Well, it does a little bit. So we're going to have a first and 10 at Tampa Bay's 48. I'm going long. I mean, I got to believe that this Tampa Bay defense is going to give that up. If I keep trying to hit it every once in a while. No. All right, let's go. We're doing it again. Long this time to Smith. That's going to be incomplete, I think. Way incomplete. I mean, this is Jaws. All right, uh, we got a third and ten. Let's try a, a higher percentage pass. We're going to go short to the flanker Smith. Something we can pick up so that we can... Oh, no. Jaws got sacked. We're going to punt. It, did, is, it, is he going to have it at the... No. The touchback. Come on. All right. We're going to put in the run. There's a penalty on the play, but it's on us, it looks like. No, it's on him. It's on them, first and 15. Now I'm going to put in the pass. First and 15, I'm putting in the pass. If you want to run, you can run. Uh, and he did, and for a lot of yards. So second and six, I'm going to put in the run. And he does. And he fumbles again. Do I pick it up? 
I'm going to pick it up and run with it. And Ricky Bell has to make the tackle, and he does. This is a crazy good game. I love this. A minute 22 left, we have a first and goal to nine. I'm going to do a short pass to Carmichael, try to hit a, a, a touchdown right here. And it is a touchdown! <laughs> Commanding lead for the Eagles now. 14 nothing. Gonna kick an extra point. And that is gonna be 14 to nothing. That's really, I mean, that's insurmountable. If you've been watching this game, you know. Well, and if you know the 1977 Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know that this is insurmountable. All right, so 14, I mean, we know where the Eagles got one of their five. I am going to put in the run, even though there's only a minute seven left. And uh, he got a pretty good run, considering I was looking for it. We're going to put in the run again. I mean, he gets the ball to start the half, but still. It's incomplete, so now we are going to put in, I'm going to put in the pass. I'm just going to put in general pass. I'm not going to double team anybody or do anything like that, and he runs the ball. All right, we're going to put in the pass because he's got to, he's got to try to score now. I mean, if he's doing anything, he's got to try to score. All right. And... That is going to be it for the half. So before we do the kickoff here, let's look at the reports and the box score. 14 nothing. Yeah. So let's see. Tampa Bay here. Um, Total rushes, net yard, net yards rushing is 43 for Tampa Bay. Total offense is 38 plays, or 30, is it 38 yards of offense? Let's see. Net yards passing in negative five. So yeah, it's 38. He has 38 total yards of offense. Um, and he's averaging. On 25 plays, he has 38 yards of offense, which is 1.5 yards per play. We have 104 yards of total offense. Randy Hedberg is one for nine for eight yards and an interception. Jaworski is eight for 17 for 75 yards. Two touchdowns and an interception. Randy Hedberg has a zero rating and Jaworski has a 74.4 rating. And <clears throat> and the rushing is right there for you. Anthony Davis, six rushes, 24 yards. Ricky Bell, five rushes for 20 yards. Um, Ed Williams, two for zero. And Jimmy Dubose, one for negative one. For us, Hogan has six rushes for 12 yards, a two-yard average. And he's fumbled twice, but lost none of them. You got Tom Sullivan, six rushes for 34 yards. Wilbert Montgomery, three for two yards. James Betterson, one for negative one yard. And Jaworski, one for zero. All right, so let's do the kickoff. We're kicking off to them, 14 nothing lead. They're going to get a nice return. And uh, yeah, we tackle them there. So they got a first and 10 at the 34. I'm still going to look for the run, though. 
And they do, and we get him in the backfield. Ricky Bell trapped in the backfield. I'm going to look run again. Oh, he's going to pass. No, he, no, well, he, I guess he ran it. So he got a third and seven. I'm going to look for the pass. So we are going to do the punt return. I mean, he's, I, I'm convinced at this point for him to score, He's going to have to hope for me to make a bad mistake deep in my own end. Um, take control of the ball and then like immediately kick a field goal. Because he's not going to get, we're going to go end run with Carmichael. Let's go end run with Carmichael, little trick play action. And there it is, and it doesn't get anything. No gain. All of that for no gain. So let's go off tackle with Hogan. And he only gets a yard. So we got a third and nine. We're going to go short to Kreppel. And it's intercepted. See, this is what they had. That's what they needed. Now they should kick a field goal right now. They should not even run a play, but um, I am, I'm still going to, I'm going to look for the run. And they do, and they lose a ton of yards on that. So now I'm looking for the pass. If they want to run, they can run. And they are passing, and I was looking for it and met them. So we've got a third and 11 for them. I am going to look for the pass. Let's go linebacker blitz. And we did stop them. So they have a, oh, it's incomplete too. So fourth and 11, they're going to come out and kick the field goal. I'm going to kick block. I mean, why not? And they miss it. They miss it. <laughs> oh my God. I am going to have to look up exactly um in fact i'm going to do that right now i'm going to i'm going to stop the game i'm going to pause the the video recording and then i'm going to go look up what the score of this game actually was okay i went and looked it up and the eagles actually won this game 13 to 3. all right we're gonna go flat to sullivan And that's incomplete. I don't know who Jaws was passing to there, but anyway. Let's go long again. Let's try to launch it again to Carmichael. I mean, the guy is getting, Carmichael's getting open. It's just Jaws can't hit him. And it's incomplete. All right, third and 10. Let's go short to Smith. Well, he's not sacked. That's a good sign, but it's incomplete. So we're going to we're going to punt. And they're going to try to return it and they do for some nice yards on a punt for a punt return. 9-12 left in the third quarter. We're ahead 14 nothing. I'm going to put in the balanced. I don't even really I mean if I were running Tampa Bay, I wouldn't even know what play to call. All right, I'm going to go run. We're going to look for the run defense, put a run defense out there. And uh, he gets it. He gets the first down, I think. Yep, first and 10 at the Philadelphia 39. Usually I would worry about that, but I'm not with this team. I mean, he's probably going to make a mistake before he gets close enough to even kick a field goal. Second and eight. At the thirty, at our thirty-seven, I'm going to look for the. You know, I'm going to look. I'm going to put the pass out there. Pass defense. No, he ran it. We did stop him though before the first down. He's got a third and one at the thirty. Now I am looking for the. I'm looking for the uh, run. 
I got to look for the run and I got a key on Bell. And that paid off. He didn't get it. And now he's got a fourth and four. And he's going to go for it on fourth and four. I'm looking for the pass. Oh, he runs. And we stopped him. This is incredible. All right. Um, I'm going to go look in pass to the second tight end. And he, did he catch it? Yes, for six yards. Second and four. I'm going to go line buck with Betterson. That's going to be a nice pickup. Well, not really, but it's third and two. Third and two, I'm going to go line buck with Lusk. And he gets the first down and a lot more. We have a first and 10 at the Tampa Bay 45. Now let's launch it again. Come on. Come on, dude. You can complete a long pass. And he does. That time he does. Nice. First and 10 at the Tampa Bay 15 after a bomb by Jaws. Let's go end run with Sullivan. And he gets a few yards, four yards. Got a second and six. We'll go off tackle with Hogan. And he gets stopped in the backfield. No gain. Third and six, I'm going to go short pass to Sullivan. That's going to be incomplete. All right, we're going to try the field goal with Nick Mickemeyer. And he, of course, misses it. I expect, I fully expected him to miss it. So we have a 14-0 lead. Tampa Bay has it first and 10 at their own 20 with 249 left. And I'm going to look for the run. Left in the third quarter, I should say. And they complete it, so I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for the run again. I mean, he he can't go too many plays without running the ball because he has a terrible quarterback that I've never heard of. Um, second and eight. I'm gonna look for the run, and we we stopped him at least. But now he's got a third and two. I'm gonna go balanced. And we stopped him. Is he going to punt? He is going to punt. I guess he learned his lesson from the last time. Well, plus he's in his his own end this time. I think the last time he was in our end, so it wasn't quite as risky. I'm going to try to catch it and run with it, and we fumble. Tell me I can jump on it. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to pick it up and run with it, and I fumbled again. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up and run with it. All right. So after all that, we finally did maintain possession of the ball. Ah, man, this is the greatest game. If you're not watching all of this game, I don't know what else you are doing. 25 seconds left in the third quarter. We're going to go flat to the split end. And it is almost a first down. We got a second and one. Just a second and one. I'm going to go draw play with Jaws. And he's going to get the first down. Love it. First and 10 at the Philadelphia 34. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And there's a penalty. Might be on him. It's incomplete. But we're going to accept the penalty. So we have a first and 10 at the Philadelphia 39. I'm going to try a long pass this time. Let's, let's you know, spread the wealth around. We'll try Smith. 14.04 left in the game. And it is, well, it's complete to Sullivan. 
I guess he was the outlet pass. So we got some nice yards um, after a 16-yard gain there. Let's go off tackle with Hogan. Oh, he fumbled again. Yes, he did. I'm This time I'm falling on the ball. So we got a second and three. 12.53 left. We have a second and three at the Tampa Bay 38. I'm going to go line buck with Sullivan. And we get the first down. Tampa Bay 33. Um, I'm going to go. Let's go short to Smith. And that's going to be a first down. Nice. First and 10 at the Tampa Bay 22. Let's go line buck with Hogan. I mean, this guy's fumbled the ball like five times, four or five times this game. Second and eight at the Tampa Bay 20. I'm going to go short to Krepfel. And that's going to be a Completed pass for a first down. First and goal to Tampa Bay, eight. I'm going to go end run with Betterson. I mean, now I'm just sending in all kinds of kooky plays because, I mean, what's it matter? All right, we got a second and goal to Tampa Bay, eight with 10 minutes left. I'm going to go look in pass. I guess I can't. Yeah, I can't do that. Can't do a flat either. You're right. Let's go... Um, line buck with Lusk. And he gets trapped in the backfield. We have a third and goal. Now you're going to go short pass to Carmichael. And he's going to get sacked. So I'm going to send Nick, Nick Mickemeyer out there to make the field goal. See if he can. It looks like he made it. So it's going to be 17 nothing. 17 nothing with 8:53 left. And uh Hagens Hagens returns it in. Uh, they <laughs> they fumbled it to themselves and then lost yards. Great. That's a that's a classic one. All right. So now we're just I mean I'm going to put in all kinds of crazy calls, linebacker blitz. I mean, you know, what have I got to lose? Not the game. Interception by Navzinger. I'm going to try to gain some yards. Navzinger. All right, so we got a first and 10 again at the Tampa Bay 24. We're going to go line buck with Hogan. I don't think the real Tampa Bay Buccaneers of 1977 were actually this bad. I mean, I can't imagine. Second and three at the Tampa Bay 17. Let's go short to Osborne. And that is going to be a completed pass for a first and goal at the Tampa Bay 7. Let's go off tackle with Sullivan. And that's going to be a touchdown. Man, this is crazy good. All right. I mean, let's not get excited. It is Tampa Bay. We're going to kick the extra point with Nick Mickemeyer. And it is going to be good, and it's going to be 24 nothing. And we're going to kick off. 7.04 left. Remember, the real game was 13-3. So we are kicking out ass on what the real score was they're going to have it first and 10 at their own 20 they have a new quarterback out there blount which you know i don't blame them we're going to put in the linebacker blitz again because i intercepted him last time on that linebacker blitz and we're going to get williams in the backfield on that let's put that in again let's just keep linebacker blitzing him see what it does And it's incomplete. 
and now he's got a third and 14. Now I'm just going to put in the pass defense. You know what? Pass defense, and we'll double team McKay, the coach's son. He would want to get his son a play here. And uh, no. So fourth and, <laughs> fourth and 12, they're at their 18. I am going to put in the punt return. 5.52 left in the game. And I am going to try to return it. Nice return. First and 10 at our own 47. I'm going to go flat to Henry, the flanker. It's incomplete. Second and 10 at the Philadelphia 47. I'm going to go look in pass to Papali. And that's going to be a first down and a little bit more. You know what? Let's change the quarterback. Let's go to Roman Gabriel. Yeah, why weren't we playing Roman Gabriel all game? All right, we got a first and 10 at the 38. I'm going to go long to Papali. Is that going to be complete? No, he just misses it. Second and 10, we're going to go short to Henry. Oh, Jaworski's back out there. But there is a penalty, and it's probably on them. I would think it's on them. I'm going to accept it, of course. All right, so now we're, let's bring Roman Gabriel back out there. And let's go short to the second tight end, Osborne. And uh, that's, um, we've got a second and 10. I'm gonna put Roman Gabriel back out there again. Let's go look in pass to Pale. Third and 10 at the Tampa Bay 33. I'm just going to go line buck with Betterson, try to get it as close as we can from Nick Mickemeyer. And now we are going to kick a field goal. Ooh, he might even make it. And he does. It's 27 nothing. And we're kicking off. 228 left in the game. Mercifully for Tampa Bay. So Tampa Bay has a first and ten at its own 46. I'm gonna double team the split end McKay. JK McKay. And he passes to Eddie Williams, second and, or it's incomplete, second and 10. I'm just going to put in a general pass. There is a penalty. And it's on us, it looks like. So it's second and five. I'm going to put in a pass. Minute 52 left, and we're going to sack Blount. Blount is like, why did you have to put me out here? All right, so third and 19. We're going to look, we're going to go linebacker blitz. And we are going to catch Blount on a sack in the backfield. Fourth and 22. Is he going for, he's going for it. I mean, why not? Oh, no, no, he's going to punt return. All right, he's going to punt. So we have a minute seven left in the game. 27 nothing lead. I'm going to catch the ball and run with it. And uh, we get a quite a return there. First and 10th the Philip Philadelphia 44. Now he now he's putting Roman Gabriel in himself. I don't even have to do it myself. All right, a minute left. Let's go long to Henry. 
that's not going to be complete. So it's incomplete. Let's go long to Papale. There's going to be a penalty, and it looks like it's on us. 52 seconds left. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go four wide receiver set. Roman Gabriel at quarterback. And we're going to go long to Carmichael. And it's in just incomplete. You got to believe that that was probably just off his fingertips. Third and 15 at the Philadelphia 39. Let's go off tackle with Sullivan. There is movement on us. Third and 20. Let's go short to Osborne. It's incomplete. Fourth and 20, I am going to punt because I want to keep the shutout. 37 seconds left in the game. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what they're going to do. We're going to put in the pass. And was that even complete? Yeah, it was for one yard. Second and nine, 22 seconds left. We're going to put in the pass, defense. Incomplete. And it is third and nine, Tampa Bay 35. We're going to put in the pass. Blount back to pass. And it's incomplete. It's fourth and nine, he is going to punt. Only eight seconds left in the game. So we're going to return this. Maybe we'll run one play and then that's going to be the game. I, I would think. I am going to try to catch the ball and return it, and it uh, goes nowhere. We have a first and 10, one second left. Let's just go end run with Sullivan. And he gets nothing there. So I totally expect that to be the end of the game, and it is. So let's go look at the, uh, I know you want to see the this box score, because, I mean, who wouldn't really? Um, so let's see. Total offense. He had 62 yards of total offense. We had 265. Hedberg was 3 of 14 for 26 yards and two interceptions, a zero rating. Jeb Blount was 1 for 5 for one yard. And, um, yeah, and a 39.6 rating. Jaworski was 16 for 31 passing, 184 yards, two interceptions, um, and two touchdowns, and a 64.4 rating. Roman Gabriel was 0 for 6 passing, which got him that 39.6 uh, rating. Ricky Bell, 11 rushes for 23 yards. And uh, Anthony Davis, 6 rushes for 24 yards. For us, Hogan, 11 rushes, 29 yards. He fumbled three times and didn't lose any of them. Sullivan had 10 rushes for 49 yards, and Montgomery had three rushes for two yards. Lusk, two rushes for 17 yards. And there's receiving stats. You can look at those. Take a look at those if you want. Nick Mickemeyer, kicker. So anyway, that is the... Uh, that's the game, and uh, it's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing up.